The numeric forced rank, a lightweight method for comparison and decision making. Imagine your company has launched a new music streaming service and needs to know which one of five genres is most important to surface on the homepage. You decide to deploy a survey to understand user preferences using a 1 to 5 Likert type scale to rate importance for each genre. Results come back and three of the genres are rated roughly equally at the highly important end of the scale. Now what? Do users really want all of these genres that badly? Are they truly equally important? Comparing products, features, brands, or ideas relative to each other is a common goal in user experience and market research. While Likert type scales and ordinal stack ranks are often employed as prioritization methods, they're subject to several psychometric shortcomings. For example, the Likert type scales do not account for a relative comparison of the items of interest, nor do they prevent all items from being scored identically. Likewise, the stack rankings can't tell us about the magnitude of differences. How much more do respondents prefer hip-hop to pop music? We introduce the numeric force rank, a lightweight approach that overcomes some of the limitations of standard methods and allows researchers to collect absolute ratings, relative preferences and magnitude of differences, and subjective comments using a single scale. The approach is optimal for UX and market research, but is also easily employed as a structured decision-making exercise outside of consumer research. The numeric force rank works by using a long horizontal Likert type scale on which participants place cards representing the items to be ranked. Each card contains one item of interest. Participants are not allowed to give two items the same numeric rating. To help name a new Google Cloud Platform feature, our study used a 30-point scale to compare 10 potential names across five criteria our team wanted the name to meet. We gathered data from eight internal participants who were familiar with the construct we were naming. To meet a quick deadline, we ran the session as a single focus group, so participants were asked to reach consensus on scores for each name per each criterion. This approach resulted in a data set with 50 individual scores, 10 names across five rating scales. Here are our 10 prospective names. As each name card was placed on the scale, participants were asked to elaborate on their choice and why each relative position was chosen. To calculate results given the small sample and qualitative nature of the study, we simply took the sum of scores across criteria to determine the final score of each name, and the research team recommended moving forward with the name Hub. But to understand a primary benefit of the numeric force rank, we can also look at these data as if they were purely ordinal stack rank scores. Although Hub was a clear favorite and remained the top name when converting scores to a stack rank, the order of names 2 through 4 were changed or tied. You can see cluster group moved from position 4 to position 2. Unexpectedly, this difference became significant for our naming project. Hub ultimately had to be discarded due to unexpected product changes, and we had to choose another name. Because of the more granular scoring method of the numeric force rank, we were able to move forward with our second highest name, environment. Using the numeric force rank allowed us to take advantage of the psychometric benefits of traditional Likert and stack rank scales while capitalizing on principles of mathematical psychology. Rankings with three or more items encourage participants to discriminate more critically between multiple options. Beyond that, the greater number of scale points affords more sensitive judgments, which can impact how items are ranked when new options are introduced. There are a few limitations that should be considered. From a practical perspective, the exercise can be time-consuming and tedious with a high number of items or scale dimensions. To mitigate this, we recommend limiting the number of items to be ranked as much as possible. Research is limited on the reliability and validity of ranking multiple items on a single scale, and future research should evaluate test-retest reliability. The numeric force rank draws from established mathematical and behavioral science theory to provide an approachable way for practitioners to gather comparison data alongside qualitative rationales. To date, the numeric force rank has been used by several teams across Google to make systematic product decisions and add rigor to otherwise unstructured processes. We hope it can continue to be a valuable tool in research practice and organizational decision making.